just love that bit of air. Mm -hmm. mm? Oh. Hello? Yes? Yeah? Yes. Okay, thanks. Well? It's ours! Oh! <laughs> I've accepted the offer! <laughs> Oh, well, you tell us when to start, we'll start. Bye. Try that. Get your bags packed. You what? I told you, big brother, get you sorted. That job in London's come off. You kidding? We are out of here, kidder. Anybody sitting there? Yeah, I think that's everything. Looking forward to this, aren't you? Be nice, get away for a few days. I thought we might do a meal and a show one night. A pricey drive in London. Oh, we can afford it. I'm on 500 quid a week for the next three months. What about Daniel? Joking, babysit. Joe? I'd rather leave him with Saddam Hussein. Yes, I would. <laughs> Your brother? Yeah, well, we're working together full time now, see, and this big job's come up. And his van's not and I thought... Give us a minute, will you? Trev. Trevor, I said I'd give you a lift there. We never talked about Karen. I just thought of it last night. Be nice for us, you know? Oh, Jesus. No, this is never gonna work. What's the matter, like? Look, why don't you get the train? I'll pay your fares. Get lost. What's the matter? Oh, nothing, nothing. Here we go. There the go. Who's going to London? Huh? You are. Yes, you are. Ah. Here we go. Oh, oh Mrs. Stewart. How uh, aware. How's your kitchen? Oh, sorry. Do you think you could just, uh, just for a minute? Oops. Don't ask. Ah! Just say. Uh, 
You remember Trevor? Uh, this is his wife, Karen. That's Daniel. Karen, Janice. Hello. All right. Uh, right? I think this might be yours. What? <laughs> well, best be off then. London, here we come. <laughs> Purvis and Purvis hits the metropolis. I can't find it. Maybe we should go straight there. What? Well, we're going to drop you and Janice off. What? Where we're staying, and then me and him have to go on to the house. You're going to drop us off where? Are we staying in the same hotel? <laughs> well, bed and breakfast. Well, we've got this business to see to. And where is it, this bed and breakfast? I think it's in Paddington, but I can't find the street. <laughs> It just gets better and better, doesn't it? Oh, Emma and Janice. A romantic few days in London, you said. You didn't mention the brother, the brother's wife, or the puking infant. Well, I didn't plan it like this. Nor did you mention a doss house round the back of a station. Sounds like just the place for a bit of extramarital hanky-panky, if you ask me. Oh, sorry, did I just hear a high-pitched squeak? Oh, come on now, girls, let's be friends. I like your rings. Your husband must be really generous. Right, that is it. Janice, what are you doing? What am I doing? I'm going home. To gaze at your beautifully crafted woodwork, it might be marginally more exciting than this. Janice, calm down, will you? Good luck if you're going to need it. Janet, you money owns bloody spoiled me. Me? What have I done? Trevor! Janice, come back. Where are you going? Just here. Oh, Karen! Karen! Get him in there. Oh, come on. Be reasonable, eh? What about your brother being reasonable? Come, I'm sorry. Karen! Oh, Karen, come back, are we? Karen! Bastard! Oi, watch the van, will you? Piss oh. off! I do hereby make a solemn promise to... What? Shag you rotten in every room in this house. <laughs> what do you think about that? I think the downstairs loo should be interesting. <laughs> Which was the house he did the work in? Over there. Best job I ever did. Bloody hell. Big, isn't it? No more piddly little kitchens and bathrooms. We're builders, Trevor. In five years' time, we're going to be bigger than George Wimpy. It's clients. What they like? The clients. They love you, they hate you. And then they pay you. Smile. Hi there. Hello. Good journey. Ah, it was great. This is me brother, Trevor, Payne and Dego consultant, Mr. and Mrs. Oh, Paul and Laura. Laura. <laughs> right, should we do the tour? Thanks. 
So three reception rooms, five bedrooms, three bathrooms. Well, a new roof, joists, slates, knock through upstairs. Right. Yeah. Rewire, replace floorboards and central heating throughout. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go upstairs. <clears throat> this is the master bedroom with uh, ensuite bathroom and uh, dressing room through there. Fitted wardrobes and all, okay? Right. This wall comes out. Open plan kitchen and dining room. Fantastic. Yeah, I've got the designs for you. I thought, uh, beat your rush. Lovely. Pack it in, here. What? Well, if they want to go on about the house, let them get on with it. Don't join in. It's not done. How was the journey? The train was packed. Had to stand till we got to Doncaster. Did you? I'm sorry. How much was it, the fare? 72 quid, why? Nothing. Just a lot of money. To pay for standing, I mean. I'm whacked. Listen, I'm sorry. I thought, you know. Yeah. But it wouldn't have worked, would it? Not with Joe and Janice. Yeah, I'm sorry. Trevor, will you stop saying sorry? It's doing me head in. Right, sorry. Oops. <laughs> Nearly said it again. Karen, are you there? You must think I'm a right cow sometimes. Get away. You... Just great, man. Emma? Hey, listen, kid, you know I'm dead fond of Karen and that, but has it ever occurred to you to tell her to bug off? Thanks, Joe. Thanks for that sparkling insight into the mysteries of human relationships. This is crap. What? This is a crap hotel. It's only till we find somewhere safe to park the van. <laughs> it smells in here. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> yes, it does. It smells. Joe, he's not going to refund the deposit. We've paid. We're stuck here, so we might as well get one money's worth. Smells of cat's piss. Joe, you know Paul and Laura? Yeah? Well, do they know? Well, like, that we've never done, like... Keep going, Trevor, you'll get there. Well, like... <sighs> that we've never done jobs as big as this. Do you like earning 500 pounds a week, Trevor? Of course I do. It's just... Well, you know, we're not exactly experienced house renovators, are we? That's right, Trevor. You're an inexperienced part-time DIY expert who's lost his boring office job. But you'll learn. And what we don't know, we'll get somebody else in to help. So keep your gob shut and look professional. And if you get stuck, just frown a lot and say bye. That'll cost you. Sorry, uh, well, I didn't know there was anybody in the house. Neither did I till I heard Niagara Falls. Oh, 
I'm really sorry. You must be thinking a uh, typical builder, typical Geordie. No, not at all. Typical bloke, maybe. Yeah. We didn't know you were coming. We thought we'd take some photographs, you know, before and after. Hey, Lara, what do you call them things golfers put their balls on? Um, teas? Thanks very much. We both take milk. I'll have two sugars. Oh. Finished clearing out? Yeah, nearly. Uh, we start the roof tomorrow. Scaffolding's coming first thing. Oh, great. I'll drop in and see how you're getting on. If you want. You've got dust on your Hugo Boss. Thanks very much. Ta. Right. We'll be off then. Hi, Tara. Thanks for the tea. Yeah. Um. Sorry. I'll catch up. Just so as we understand each other, I chose you because you're recommended and because you're cheap. You're here because you'll get more out of this than anything you find back home, so we both got a good deal, right? But don't be tempted to try making it a better one, okay? Don't make the mistake of looking at my car, my job, and this, and thinking, smooth bastard, no sod all, let's rip him off, because underneath, I'm just like you. You know, I'd spot the dodges before you've even thought of them. Now this here, you know, it's, it's really important to us, so please do me a favour, don't screw it up, okay? Yeah, fine. Thanks, lads. To what? On the phone again. Did you tell him to sod off? <clears throat> what are you doing? I've got some chocolate in me bag. Yes. You've just had your dinner. Have you got a table? I always get hungry when I'm head up about something. Don't open the window, man. It's like Brant's hatch out there. I'm hot. I can't sleep. Oh. This is not why I came to London. Door. Television. <laughs> Toilet. Right, that's it. Now what are you doing? Oh, well, look. Bacon, eggs, yes. You have to eat them raw. And no gas spoil. Trevor, sleep, please.
God's sake, what happened, man? The earth moved. Uh, what? They're on me keys. Oi, Fanny Craddock. Home. Right. <clears throat> he should have woken us. That'd have done a turn of the driving. You must be joking. I'm really sorry, Joe. So you should be. I still can't believe he sacked us just because we blew up his kitchen. That's unbelievable, Trevor. I suppose calling him a daft cockney twat didn't help either. What a job to lose. What a bloody idiot. Who? Me. Right. There's other jobs. Not like that one. I'll get something sorted. I suppose. Things aren't too clever. Between me and Karen, <laughs> he may be realised. I thought you was like that all the time. A joke. It's just... Hurry up, Trevor, it's getting dark. She's not happy. I don't know why. Right. Hey, listen, kid, I'm no great expert on marriage. As far as I'm concerned, it's played one, I lost one. Know what I mean? No, go on. Well, the thing is... No, no. No, here, man. Are you sure she's not playing away? You are something else, you know that? We don't all live in a swamp. Well, how does it feel morning after the night before? Don't try and pick a fight, Laura. It's a bit rich. Please. They're perfectly good builders and I trust them. You never even consulted me. You nearly blew the house up. Trevor got caught in an accident that could have happened to anyone. You spoke to the gas board yourself. It wasn't going to work. So what now? Get some more builders in. You can start straight away and match Joe and Trevor's price. It'll be OK. Don't worry. I'm glad you're home. Are you? Don't say that. I messed it up, Karen. It's just one of those things. You'll find some work. Aye. Joe reckons something will turn up. Right. Oh, come on, be fair, Karen. He always does his best to help out. And if I get work here, it's better, isn't it? We'll be together. Well, that's the earliest you can start. Um, no, uh, it's fine. I'll leave it. Thanks, bye. Paul, I think I've got a buyer for those three tankers in Cape Town. Yep, yeah, you're right, yeah. It's trivial. It's only 42 million quid's worth of business. I shouldn't have bothered you. I'll call them back and tell them we can't be asked. Do you know any good builders? You're asking me? Try looking under sea for crook. <laughs> Thanks. Mate. Piss off. Hello, Paul. Hi, darling. 
Yeah, I'm onto it. I'm doing it. Okay. Been on. No. Well, 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 look what a cat set you up. What are you doing here? It's a long story. Shortly then. All right, uh, Trevor blew a cougar up. We've got the snack. <laughs> Dear me, it doesn't sound like a very successful trip. Fancy drink? I'm with my mates from now. Hi, yeah. Hi, right. Hi. I'm off tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Didn't think you'd want to, you know. Well, maybe I got to see the funny side of it. Maybe I got to miss you. Did you know? Don't get cocky. I said maybe. <laughs> cool. I spoke to Joe. Yeah, he said. I did, didn't I? Nice being home. Good. Did you miss us? Well, you haven't been gone that long, have you? <laughs> How long do you need? Go. I promised ma'am. I've put her off twice already. She's got no clothes for her holidays and I said I'd help her. I just thought we could drive down to the coast, you know, have a day out. Yeah, well, you won't find a job on Whitley Bay Sands. Shouldn't you be ringing round? I suppose. Where are you meeting her? Marks and Spencer's. Laura? Oh. Where's the phone? It's there. You're looking furtive. No. Yes, you are. Whenever you haven't done something that you say you're going to do, but you don't want me to know that you haven't done, you look furtive. You're looking furtive now. I'm onto it. I phoned half the bloody builders in London. Well, phone the other half. It's been four days, Paul. I'll sort it. You need me to try? I'll do it. You can go now. Thank you. Don't forget we're meeting Mike tonight. did you? Didn't look much like your mum, though, unless I need me eyes testing or me head examined. You followed us. How long's it been going on? I don't believe you did that. No, I've been torturing myself, wondering, what's wrong with her? What's wrong with us? And all the time... Hey! Who is he? Me old boss from Phoenix. Why? I rang him to ask about some work. What? He took us to lunch. Maybe he does fancy us, but I thought it doesn't matter as long as I get some work. But why...? I went to the bank yesterday, Trevor. They wouldn't give us any money. I felt like a criminal. Oh, I could... Because I thought you'd be upset. 
because you're the one who's supposed to bring home the money. Because you're the one who's apparently set himself up in the building trade. Pervis and Pervis, master bloody builders. You're looking. Joe... Jo is taking the piss. He's been out on the quayside every night since you got back. And as usual, you're the only one on Tyneside who doesn't know about it. And I've had days of you just sitting there, boring holes in my back. It's like living in a bloody goldfish bowl. Just sitting there, Trevor, doing bugger all. Right, all right, leave the pain on. Oh, okay. Come here. Just waiting for a phone call from the lovely Janice. You bastard. Me? You've ruined our lives. I listen to you like a bloody fool. Why did I listen to you? What? You don't trust anybody. You think that every married woman's up for it. Huh? Sure she's not playing away? That's what you said. So, of course, I've been sitting there worrying. I mean, is that what she's up to? That's not my problem. Well, you've never liked her. Always niggling away, trying to come between us. Oh, get real, will you, Trevor? What, you think I've got better things to do? Oh, yeah, like what? Finding us work. Have you got us fixed up yet? In between your gallivanting. Are you finished? You and me are finished. Because us working together isn't working out. So I'm jacking it in, right? Hey, hang on a minute. Uh, let's just get one thing sorted, shall we? I took you on. Do you remember? And not because you're any good as a builder, Trevor. It's because you were out of a job and you were skint. I did fine without you before and I will do again. So if anybody's going to finish anything, it's going to be me. You're fired. Right? I'll see you. About ten years. Why make it that quick? Karen? Karen? Trevor, I've gone away for a few days to stay with Louise in Durham. I need to be on my own to work out what's best and where we're headed. Give Daniel a kiss from me. You can you Gallagher, the wee Scotch lad, the best centre forward that Newcastle ever had. He's a bit bow-legged, but he's not half bad. And we'll pack him back to Glasgow in the moon. Right, Granite? No, I'm not. Once had a manager. When folks asked him if he was all right, he would say, I'm on cloud seven. <laughs> Me? I'm on cloud three. Brenda? I'm not well, bunny lad. Well, you look well enough to me. Yeah, that's lovely, Joe. Lovely. What is it? I've had an accident, Joe. You okay? Oh, I'm not over grand. You could say I've put a bit of a damper on conversations around here. Who's that? It's Sam. 
Sam? Oh, come on then, Josie. Give your dad a kiss. Have you only got eyes for your great granddad? Hello, Dad. And that's it. How's things? Okay. Listen, have you got a minute? I need to talk to you. What now? Hello? Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm smashing. I was just on my way, as a matter of fact. Sam? <laughs> I made mean, yeah, the time when your grandma would have made Tara. a canny soup out of one of them. <laughs> it's time I was away. Aye. Don't keep her waiting. Bye, Grandad. Hello? Laura? Trevor Purvis here. Trevor, hi, how are you? Well, not so bad. Listen, we're back in Newcastle now, um, and I feel really bad about what happened. I just wanted to ring and say sorry. Oh, Trevor, that's, um, that's good of you. I screwed up, you know. Anyway, I'm sorry. It's OK. I don't suppose there's any chance you might think about having us back. Oh, Trevor, I... Hang on a minute, will you? It's Trevor Purvis. He's wrong to apologise. Talk to him. Hi, Trevor. How are you? Would you like your chimney swept? Great. Uh, yeah, fine. Thanks. We'll be there tonight. Joe? Joe? You're up, little fella, aren't you? All the time, I mean. Not just after you've had your way with some grateful female. Little ray of sunshine, that's me. Do you have any doubts or worries, questions? People worry too much, Janice. It's not that complicated. It's a laugh. Enjoy it. My husband. No, no, no. You don't talk about the husband, Janice. He's a ray, too. A ray of very occasional sunshine. Janice, man. <sighs> I can't manage it, you know. I can't. <laughs> Keep starting up the house instead. <laughs> Kitchen. Patio loft conversion. I don't know who thinks it's food. What do you think about that? Hey, hey. Hey. It's a good lay. Hmm. Hmm. Jesus, who's that? Don't go. Bloody hell, that ten years passed quick. Listen, man, I've just spoken to Paul and Laura. They want us back, but we'll have to go today. Trevor, man, I'm busy. I'll talk to you later. Joe! 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 He's wasn't a bloody limpet. Joe! Can I help you? Have you ever considered the benefits of stone cladding? No, thanks. 
Looks like shite. Aren't you the painter that did our kitchen? No. Ah! Hang on! Hang on! Recently! Yeah! That was me, yeah. Right. Who's he talking to? Anyway, um, stone cladding. Surveys have shown it raises property values by up to 12 percent, son. Piss off, will you? See me shirt? Yeah, good. Give me shirt, John. I'm tired. I've got a brochure in me. What's all this? What do you want me to say? Change of a tenor. Time being. He knows where you live. And you. He's got our new lead ahead. <sighs> Seemed a bit upset, didn't he? I mean, aggressive. He's got a bit of a reputation. Oh, don't tell me some bloody gangster. No. He's a police inspector. What are we going to do? Well, I told Paul we'll go straight down. What am I going to do with Daniel? Drop him with Karen. She's gone off. What? Just for a few days, like. Oh, well, there's no point in going back, is there? You're a bloody fool, you know. No. Oh, you're the big <gasps> expert, are you? I'm not being chased by a homicidal police inspector. Yes, you are. Over. Alert of the forces and keep suspects under surveillance. Is this a priority, go? Yeah, of course it's priority. These two, they are right bastards. manager you know you know she told us him a policeman and all what's that gonna do with anything well just me not to know well you don't expect with a guy like that uh, I mean you think he'd have lead in his pencil wouldn't you it really doesn't bother you what he must be feeling does it 
It bothers us what I'll be feeling if he catches up with one. He's right. You are a bastard. And you're a miserable get. No wonder... No wonder. Suspects located M1 southbound, north of Junction 15. We'll keep them under surveillance. Over. It's a fact. As soon as you see this bloody big dustbin lid thing with three peas and a dollop of red <laughs> stuff in the middle, you know you're going to get stung, huh? Posh calf, big plate, get a second mortgage to pay the bill. It's a scientific fact. Uh, yeah, but I paid. Yeah, yeah, thanks. But it's true, though. Uh, and you drank most of the wine. Mm. Well, I mean, you have to, don't you? Yeah? I mean, it's only polite. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lift. Car. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Why not? Oh, it's true, though. Hmm? You just get in. Do a left. Just do a left. <laughs> no, I want to see this house. I <laughs> mean, come on, a little detour, huh? Yeah? You've been going on about it for weeks, and I want to see this house. So come on, Laura, tell him. was a long way up, you know. Go to sleep. I can't sleep. I think it must be the adrenaline surging round my system. Oh, Trev, give it a rest, will ya? <sighs> well, makes you think about your own mortality. <laughs> 